Hey, I'm Emily with M Design, and I want to tell you today about the great experience that I've had building Wix online courses. There's a bug. <laughs> so first of all, Wix is just so easy and simple to use. That is the major reason why I love Wix. Not only is it simple, easy to use, but I can train my clients on how to manage their online courses. So for example, I just made an online course for a client who has a stress management course. Basically, I just went in, I set it up for her, I made a quick tutorial, and she is able to update all of the info herself and host a beautiful online course on her website. It's wonderful. Which leads me to my next point. This is all on your website. So you don't have to have a Kajabi app. You don't have to have a Skillshare or a Teachable, which those things are great. Not knocking all of those because seriously, we need all of them. But the reason that I like Wix is that you have one account process your payments through Wix, people sign up through your membership through Wix, there's one place that your customers come to log in. And if there's anything that I've learned over my several years of website design is that you need to keep it super simple, not just for you, but for your customers. Because if, the, if they feel like something is complex, they're just gonna leave, okay? They have a lot going on in their lives and they don't wanna manage like three different apps. They just wanna sign into your website and get started. And that's what Wix offers with their online programs. Another one of the features that I think is really great for my clients is that as their participants move through all of the steps of the course, they can see where the participants are in the course. So in the dashboard, you can see this person has completed this step, this person missed this step, and then you can also ask them questionnaires and quizzes. So it can be really interactive and you can see their responses and you can kind of understand your audience a little bit better and maybe even refine your course the next time you launch it. So I, I really love that feature. I know my clients do too. Something I think that takes this online program situation to the next level is that Wix offers groups with these online programs. So for example, I created a six week fasting challenge for one of my clients. So they had this group open for just six weeks. And that group not only had access to the online program, but they had access to a group as well. Essentially it was just a Facebook group page with all of the members. And so they could have their own like sort of like private conversations with just their group. They could post live Zoom links, like, hey, we're having a meetup or a live Q&A tonight. Um, they could post like status updates, like, hey, I've lost this much weight, or hey, I had this question really quick. And the moderators, the owners of the Flexible Fasting Program were on there answering questions on a daily basis, you know, liking people's comments, encouraging them. And so it just really added another level of interaction. So I also love this because you don't have to have an online course and then also have like a Facebook group page or like a Discord page or a Telegram page. You just have it all right there in Wix. You can manage it from your phone. It's awesome. Also, you've heard me talk about the Wix branded app, which I think is super cool. But if you have an online course on your website and you really wanna promote it, I think that the app is the best way to do it. It is so easy because you can just log onto the app and then hop right back in the course that you were on. So I think it's definitely easier for members to your site to complete your online courses using the app. You can also send them push notifications. The, um, the Wix online programs app will send them notifications if they missed a step or you know if there's a new step out there that they need to complete and so it really just causes more interaction with you and your audience and your members in your online course. There's two things that I don't necessarily like about the Wix online course option it is number one when you import your videos to your online course you can either import them right into Wix, like download them to Wix, host them on your website and then have people watch them, or you can link from YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook. So at first, when I built my first course, I just uploaded everything to Facebook and thought, okay, this is the way to go. The problem is, number one, there are no subtitles and there's no closed captioning for those videos. So that was kind of a bummer. Number two, there's no thumbnail image option available. And so when I would upload these videos, you know, you'd have your weird face like, or wherever you were like in the middle of a word and you couldn't change the thumbnail. And so it just didn't look as professional as I liked. And so unfortunately I had to go upload everything to YouTube as an unlisted video. And then I would just link those and paste the, paste the URL in there, in the feed and, or in the, in the course step. You know what, that works really, really well because there's closed captioning or subtitles and you have a great thumbnail image. So keep that in mind. Also, something else I just thought of is when you upload just to Wix and you have your video in your online course step, 
it gives you no identification of that video. So like I was in there, I'm like, I really hope I link the right video, but I won't know until I relink it. So when you have the YouTube video, it shows that thumbnail and the title. So I'd recommend just using YouTube to upload your videos to or Vimeo and then sync them or link them directly with the URL to that step in your program. I forgot another negative thing that I ran into in building an online course. And that was that after an online course, like if you have a scheduled course, after that schedule is done. So like if I started my course on March 1st and it's done March 30th, I can't in April just like reopen the course and add another week to it. Once that course is done, it's done. So just be aware of that before you get started. It happened to me and it was not a good experience because I didn't know that was gonna happen. So just be warned, that's gonna happen. It's okay, you need to have a closing date, but just know that if you're gonna add an extra week or an extra day onto your scheduled course, do it while the course is open. So if you wanna learn more about how to build your own online course, I have a video on how to do the entire process I also am going to be starting a build your own Wix website course for beginners starting on March 1st. I love to have you in there. We're going to take you from the ground up. So like, I'm going to show you how to do your branding, your content, your SEO, how to be professional before you even get started, because there's nothing worse than having a Wix website that looks a little crummy because somebody didn't know what they're doing, right? That looks so unprofessional. So I would love to guide you in the process of setting it up well and setting it up right. So if you want to join me, we're going to be starting March 1st and I hope to see you there.